I'm here at the Heart Failure Association meeting to learn more about heart failure and today I presented in the late trial session the results of the cardiac contractility modulation study and also a European registry. Cardiac contractility modulation is a treatment which depends on the device and the device uh, delivers uh, a current to the, left, to the right ventricular septum during the refractory period and uh, this uh, stimulation then improves contractile function immediately by protein phosphorylation and uh, over time it induces beneficial remodeling. And uh, this study included patients with heart failure and severe symptoms in a ejection fraction range between 25 and 45 percent and we could show that the primary endpoint was met and also all secondary endpoints and the primary endpoint was improvement in peak VO2 which is uh, the, the gold standard for measuring exercise capacity uh, in patients. So the patients should benefit uh, from this treatment uh, with respect to exercise capacity. It was also positive for the secondary endpoints which uh, were Minnesota Living with Heart Failure questionnaire, uh, six minute walk test and New York Heart Associational Functional Class. Now the registry uh, was done in Europe in 140 patients over two or three years follow up and the registry data uh, showed us that uh, with this device cardiovascular hospitalization uh, and uh, heart failure hospitalization together are significantly reduced when you compare the pre-implantation period to the period after uh, cardiac contractility modulation, implantation and stimulation and the reduction uh, in hospitalization was 75% uh, of the patients considerably benefited for, with respect to hospitalization and we also showed compared to the matrix score and the Seattle heart failure uh, which uh, predict mortality that the mortality reduction with the cardiac contractility modulation is more when you use the matrix score and in particular uh, in the patient with uh, ejection fraction between 35 and 45 percent so they really have a mortality benefit from the device. I like this because it's an, an, a new option to treat patients who do not qualify for a resynchronization therapy because we included patients with a QRS below 130 milliseconds and for those patients there is no device option available uh, in heart failure besides this method of cardiac contractility modulation and the patient's benefit with respect to exercise capacity, with respect to functional status, but also with respect to morbidity mortality.